Good morning, good morning, good morning. <laughs> That's gonna be a new theme. Also, then I'll come up with an album, photo album. <laughs> How are you? Welcome to my channel. If you are new, this channel is always lit because we have a candle. <laughs> so, hold on, sponsors, hold on. <laughs> we have to say our, our usual good greetings. If you are new to the channel, welcome. Um, this is your soulmate reading. I'm happy you're here. I'm happy that you're alive. I'm happy that you are gonna be buying my products. <laughs> you will. Trust me. By the end of this video, you will be so mesmerized. I'll take that. <laughs> no kidding aside. Uh, welcome to your soulmate reading. This is about you and your soulmate. There is no zodiac here. So stop asking for a timestamp, okay? Kiddos, normally those are the youngins who's new to the taro community. No, it, this is not for kids. Go back to sleep. It's the weekend, okay? <laughs> no, you need to start doing the dishes. It's the weekend. Okay. <laughs> Help your mom, can you? Okay. <laughs> Please. The laundry, mm, so that she can sit down with her tea and watch uh, <laughs> her tarot reading. Because okay. your dad hasn't sent the alimony. <laughs> so anyhow, um, let's start your reading here, folks. Um, today we're manifesting your reading with Amba Noir. Um, well, this is going to be good for the air sign, Gemini, Libra, and Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Okay? I used this last night, no, no, past two nights for the air sign. But if this is something about you, you're thinking of something and trying to, in a way, uh, manifest uh, to clear your thoughts, this is what I would use. Okay. So even though that's not your zodiac, because you probably don't know, even know your ascendant, rising, you know, upapa de lagna, atma. Okay. So just buy it. Okay. <laughs> so anyhow, um, on to the side over here, the first shipping of the bamboo will be coming Friday. So if you have purchased past weeks, you, um, you know, it's like, we just had a, what do you call this? We just finished wrapping up the video for each and it's going to come out to you because I will select it for you and I've been growing it for you so that now you can take care of it. If this plant dies, <laughs> no, <laughs> it's not going to be like that. <laughs> well, don't let it die. Okay. I wanted to take care of, I call it planty. Okay. It's all planty. Okay. So that's that. You can only get it at salbidar.me.com uh, if you know the story about how to bring luck uh, to your home. Okay? Other than that, you can get it because I need you guys to educate yourself before getting a, something alive. Okay? <laughs> mm, here we go. Okay, I have the I have the obelisk. I have my scrying crystal here. It depends if it wants to talk. Madame Bola. Okay. If it doesn't, then Madame Boring. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> Um, oracle card first or two tarot? Okay. Okay. Oracle card first. Let's do girl deck. Okay. I'm a bit scared. Oh, today I am using the black agate energy bracelet. Okay. It has a manual. It's for grounding and strength. It has a complete instruction on how to use it. I'll get it myself if you know, if I wasn't sponsored, you know. No, it's my it's my product. HG love that me. Okay, here we go. Accept it, don't post it. You're making such progress. Why attract the evil eye? Mm -hmm. Hashtag bliss, hashtag life. No, how about we keep it to ourselves so we do not attract the evil eye? A lot of people think like, you know what, I'm going to post, you know, my wonderful celebration. Next thing you know, they're separated. When you're manifesting something, you just do it in your own space. You never speak of it. You never let anyone know, especially that you're making progress. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Communicate with an ally. So someone gave you an advice and you, you listen to them that it's time for you to step out of your comfort zone. Mm -hmm. um, because you try to understand how, you know, how much you love this person in a spiritual way. You have spiritual workouts. So, you're, you know, this is, this is Sunday, you know, Surya, right? The perfect time to do our spiritual work. Mm -hmm. 
degrees of love. So you, now you're finally understanding how much you love and how much you care for this person. There's the Louboutins, Skechers, okay, and Jimmy Choo's. So you realize that this person is your Skechers. Because <laughs> they never brought you to an expensive restaurant. Okay, <laughs> restaurant power is the execution of knowledge. It only means that you now know what to do with your life, with or without this person. So you're making a decision about a relationship with or without them. Mm -hmm. It's called being detached and not allowing someone to control your life. Okay. There's only one person who controls their life. Do you know that person? It starts with letter M. It's your mom. <laughs> Here we go. You got dating. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Dating. Okay. So, the feminine basically energy here, which is the yin, realize that I ain't no chasing no man. Ask your grandma. Was she hollering at him? Texting him? Calling him? Mm-mm-mm. Grandma was just sitting at home doing her knitting, cross-stitching, you know, because grandma loves to do some hobby. So focus on that. Mm-hmm. So let the masculine energy show up to your home. This is what it's showing, showing here. Luminosity. Wow. So you're glowing. Okay. You're showing up. Ah, see? You're showing up here as a healthy individual who is practicing boundaries. Yeah. So showing that you have a limit. I ain't going to reach out. I'm not going to be going after you. You come to me. You're the man, the masculine energy. Okay, whoever is the yang, then that's how it's going to go. So once you realize that you're the yin, or you deserve to be the yin this time, because, you know, the yin and yang always, you know, goes around, then, of course, a person comes to you. Okay, let's see. Mm -hmm. Ooh. You got a two of swords and the chariot. Okay, so what is, what is up with this? Uh -huh. So... The person that you're dealing with have been thinking and thinking and thinking. And you got no time to think, right? It's called self-respect. You know, you do not wait for no one and you don't make anybody wait at the same time. You're making a decision for yourself, for your higher good. Um, the chariot is Cancerian. We don't do Zodiac, but this is about home since it's Cancerian. Um, there's going to be a full moon soon, okay? And in the full moon, of course, there's gonna, it's, it's very auspicious for you to work. Okay, on your um, spirituality, on who you are within. Okay. Queen of Pentacles. Um, it just shows here that the direction that you want your life right now is all about, um, uh, how do you call this? We've seen this, you know, a lot of people would resonate with stability um, because of how the nodes will be moving pretty, pretty. Uh, well, we're already in three months. It's already in the face of, you already feel it as uh, that it is already an exaltation. That's for the nodes. Three months before you already feel it. Mm hmm so basically now Rahu is in Taurus. So there's going to be a lot of comfort. Who's been here eating too much? Raise your hand. I have four cakes in my fridge and I live by myself. I do have two kids. Where are they? Kids? <laughs> Don't know. They've been playing around somewhere. Okay. Four of Pentacles. Okay. There is the maid. Don't worry about them. Okay. The nanny. The nanny named French. Okay. Four of Pentacles, saving money. Mm -hmm. mm. Four of Pentacles with a queen. It is the perfect time, really, to accumulate wealth. Mm -hmm. Watch, uh, watch KRS. Um, he's a he's a wonder. He has a wonderful um Vedic. He's a wonderful Vedic astrologer. He was talking about this. Yes, mm -hmm. accumulation of wealth is going to be here. A lot of astrologers will be talking about this. Vedic accumulation of wealth, ace of coins, dinero, dinero, and that's why I am releasing the bamboo. Mm. You don't want to miss the boat when the universe starts giving abundance. You need to have tools. Not unless you're a tool, just like the soulmate. Mm -hmm. So manifestation of abundance is coming. We've been getting this. How many times? We have a reading of abundance, abundance, abundance. Do you have the tools? Ask yourself. Mm. Ace of Cups and love. See, there's two things that's coming. Okay, that's good. Love and money. Okay, so <laughs> we love that. It's called emotional security. Mm. One, 
with the Ace of Cups and Ace of Pentacles, this can also be like healing and transformation. You might go to a retreat, but I do suggest Zoom retreat. Okay? <laughs> Let's not go to a breathing exercise where there's a lot of breathings. Okay? <laughs> Ace of Pentacles with Ace of Cups, in, you're investing in healing. So ask yourself, what are you doing investing in healing? Maybe you're um, listening to, um, to binaural beats. That's good. Um, listening to or doing some, you know, uh, at home uh, yoga practices, meditation, you know, cleansing your home um, and because uh, you're healing. Okay. So for any healing stuff, we have it at itchydove.me. Just saying, okay, you know where to go. I'm here for you. Yeah. We have uh, Palo Santo. It comes with five bundles. Okay. Five, six. It's <laughs> a Pentecost with eight cups. It's really true. That's where you got to put your money in right now. Okay. Or just do some regular salt bath. They're going to tell them, say, I don't got coins. You're too expensive. Do some regular um, salt, you know, that's going to be good. But at least invest in like Himalayan pink salt. It's not that expensive. Soak your feet in warm water. Yeah, that's not expensive. I am expensive. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Um, and then put some crystal in the water when you soak in your feet. If you don't have a, a, a what's it called, um, a bathtub. Mm -hmm. Hi, priestess. Doing the work, Sal. I'm on it. There you go. Get the salt. Mm -hmm. I do have black salt. Okay. Just sign for people. Okay. <laughs> Just a little insert there. You're doing the work. You're manifesting love. You're manifesting coins. You're manifesting stability. You're not manifesting the person. <laughs> Two of swords. I love it. You're not attached. You're establishing what? Boundaries. We can all use this right now. It's called safe distancing. Yeah. And face guard. And face mask. Okay. So in the house, okay, we do practice safety. So I asked them to wear face mask. So the staff were La Mer and La Prairie face mask. And the moisturizer, <laughs> they got it from Sephora. Is it why? The lovers, uh huh. Look at that. Mm. You're manifesting love. So for you, it's like you're embracing this uh, feminine energy inside you. Like the right one will come along. Mm -hmm. And it's coming. I feel. Mm. I told you the nodes are very specific about. Uh, because which is true, uh, I do agree with uh, KRS because I was uh, uh, listening to him um, that, you know, this whole um, Rahu in Taurus is about mine, ownership, because second house is really like that. Mine, 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 things that you can touch. Ask a Taurus if they're willing to share something. <coughs> okay. <laughs> Only, well, I don't know. <laughs> a lot of aspects. Don't worry about the Turinian. I drag people here by the hair. Mm. So you're going to have someone that is yours. Really. King of Cups, Scorpio. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Another mine. Mm -hmm. Seventh house is Taurus, so it means mine again. So look at your chart right now. Where is Taurus? That's going to be yours. If it's 12 and 6 house, it doesn't seem good. <laughs> if, you do not, uh, if you don't do spiritual transformation. Because if it's Taurus, uh, you know, Taurus 12 house, which means Gemini, um, how to call it, Gemini ascendant, then it only means that what you're going to accumulate either moksha or debts and losses. So what do you do? You go for the moksha. Practice spirituality. Go within. Mm. Queen of Wands. Mm -hmm. um, especially if you're Gemini ascendant, then you have a lot of um, activities. Uh, you're going to get to work. Okay, you're gonna get the nine to five. You're gonna feel a lot of scheduling, a lot of um, how to say this health. You're gonna be um, try. You're gonna be more healthier, healthier with your food, with your sleep. Uh, you know, everything comes into a schedule. Um, and I feel like you know there may be some travels also for the Gemini ascendant. Yeah, I'm just talking to the planets. Okay, don't worry about them. Now, if you're a Scorpio, then of course you know you get partnership, right? <laughs> <laughs> partnership for the Scorpios. They've been thirsty for partnership. Yeah, you'll get the Gemini soon, Scorpio. You'll get it. Mm -hmm. You'll get it. And if you're a Leo, mm -mm, where is Taurus? 10th house, right? So you get, you get more success in career, recognition. Mm -hmm. Things at work materialize. But not every everything at work is good, right? Mm. So then you have to learn. 
Mm. Because if you have enemies at work, then they all materialize. Think of it wherever is Taurus right now, it will come to solid, like something tangible. Because Rahu is an illusion, but Taurus is solid. So if you have fears, it becomes real. And do not. See, here's the thing though. Let me tell you this. Here's the thing with with Rahu, okay? It is also, uh, uh, you know, it, it does give us fear. Remember, this is like 100 times like a Saturn. So the best thing you should do is, um, you know, like, well, if, you, uh, if your chart uh, aligns it, remedy. I sent out an email blast on remedying um, Rahu and K2. So I, I recommended um, two scented candles for it. Um, and you just have to sign up, okay? Which one did I give for the... I know, I know it's um, eucalyptus, um, either for K2, and then sage for Rahu. Yeah, Rahu, sage, eucalyptus, okay? So I sent that, okay? And you can just get it. Because it soothes the mind. It soothes the mind. And that's what you need to clear the mind, clear the headspace, okay? Do not allow fear. And then allow love, ten of cups. Mm -hmm. People have a lot of fears. They manifest. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared. Boom! It becomes real. Never, en never encourage fear. Okay, and this is not fear mongering. This is called marketing. Okay, there's a difference. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> because you're fear mongering, I just told you to fear, but there was no follow up. I have follow up. Follow up. <laughs> Ten of cups. Hermit. Ah, you're doing really the work here. Two of pentacles. Um, you're doing a lot of um, family stuff. Hermit with the Ten of Cups. You're taking care of the needs of your home life, which is good. Virgo is health. Ace of Pentacles with the Hermit. You're investing in your health. The perfect time. And then um, Hermit with the Ace of Cups. Mm -hmm. um, it feels like you're allowing yourself to breathe. This is more of like a heart chakra work. You're doing this. I like it. Now, the Two of Pentacles, though, it, this keeps you busy right now. It really keeps you busy. Mm -hmm. It keeps you busy. That's why it's very important to sign up to our email list so you know when I'm talking about magical juju. Mm. Mm. Not the magical juju. They always ask me if I do, okay, magic. I do bare minerals magic. <laughs> Three of ones. When I was a kid, I used to do magic. I put my, my jacket together. My grandpa always laughed at this. Okay, so it's like this. Put your jacket together, and then I have my hand here. You know, poop, 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 poop. Ah, oh, my grandpa. Mm -hmm. Loves it. I'm the center of attention. <laughs> Seven of Pentacles with the Three of Wands. Do you guys want to see that? I'm willing to. Uh, I'm going to do. I'm going to cut this out. I'm going to do the read, and then the outro. I will make the magic for you guys. I swear. All right? Because you know that this is casual. Finish the read, and then at the cut, there's going to be a bloopers. Watch at the end. I will show you what a real magic is. I will show you. Just for you guys. Three of Wands with the Seven of Pentacles. What you're expecting. You're waiting. Things are coming towards you. You don't have to go for it. Um, you know, they always say this. You know, what's, what, what you're looking for, it's already looking for you. For me, what you're looking for is next to you. Mm. <laughs> Scary, right? Yeah. The universe does not, see? That's good. The universe does not waste time. It's next to you. The things that you need is always in front of you. Air, food, shelter. Not your soulmate. Does it make sense? Ah, yes. Okay. <laughs> Three of ones and then allow the universe, just be patient to do the work. Two of ones, this is the person. <gasps> the Hierophant. I told you. Mm. Relationship. It's going to be solid. Remember, this is Venus ruled also. Eight of Wands is coming pretty soon. A relationship that you manifest. But if, I'm more concerned of the coins. <laughs> but the coins is naturally coming. I see it here. Eight of Wands, foreign person. Yeah. Or a person traveling. Works for the government. Big, institu big institution. This can be the person. Now, you're the spiritual person here. When I say spiritual, it doesn't mean that you have... You know, all the mantras at your wall. No, it means like you know who you are. That's a spiritual person. Okay? Because there's a spirit inside. So now you look at the spirit. Oh, that's you. Now I'm spiritual. Mm-hmm. Okay. It doesn't mean that you have all the crystals. 
that your spirit will. Nah, -uh, it doesn't work that way. Mm. You understand me? So don't feel like you have to go to the tribe mm -hmm, that I'm creating. <laughs> <laughs> There's tarot perks. Okay. Anyhow, I like that what you're doing the work. You're establishing boundaries. Oh wow! And especially look at that. There's dating. There's the hierophant. There is a ten of cups. And if you're a bro, it still applies to you. This is not about gender. Mm -hmm. I just know that this is for a person who's done, who's doing spiritual work. Mm. They're more about them. That normally those are spiritual people, because <laughs> they they try to see their shadow side and then do something with it. Mm -hmm. And it's not like they would want to change other people. They want to be the change. Salvadora for twenty twenty. <laughs> Move over, Kanye. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so in the extended, I'll see how this manifests forward. Probably I'll do some scrying crystal. It's one to talk. Okay, and maybe there's gonna be more astrology because you know we all know that this is gonna be a very partnership oriented, money oriented, success oriented transformation for people. If you do not miss the boat, unfortunately, just like Lord of the Rings. When they went to the boat, there has to be some people has to be left. So don't miss the boat. When you are aware of where the planets are moving, where the energies are moving, you got to go with the flow. You don't, well, you can come next time. <laughs> and that's why I am here for you. Okay. Now stay tuned. I'm going to go now to the extended. But there's gonna be a bloopers because I want I want I want you guys to have some good time. Okay, I will show you what real magic is. And for people who wants to do the extended, it's gonna be down there. I'll do the tarot. I'll do more of where this is headed. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye, guys. Hey love, you got your heart on your sleeve, but your shirt on your back. Changing the world ain't half bad after all. Na 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 Okay. So you guys made it here to the end scene, which is going to be what real magic is. I will show you guys. And this is for my grandpa also. And my grandma also enjoyed it uh, when I was a kid. So enjoy the show. And I hope this brings some smiles and laughter. Real magic.